Hi, my name is Mike Carroll. I'm the Director of Environmental Sustainability here at Worcester Academy, located in Worcester, Massachusetts. The most significant sustainability project on campus to date has been the recent installation of a 92 kilowatt DC solar PV array on three buildings, the Daniels Gymnasium, Stoddard Dormitory, and Hayden Dormitory. This project was made possible through a collaboration between Worcester Academy and NextSamp, wherein Worcester Academy's primary benefits are that we get to fix costs for 6% of our electricity over a 20 year plus time span. We get to use the solar panels as an enormous curriculum piece as part of our sustainability commitments. And third, Worcester Academy gets to be a strategic partner with NextSamp and the state to help the state meet its goal of installing 250 megawatts of solar capacity statewide by the year 2017. I'm John Legassi, lead designer for NextSamp, and I'm here to show you the solar array here at Worcester Academy. I'd like to bring you right through and explain the details of the array. Sun's rays hit the panels, the photons excite the electrons, and it creates DC voltage. The, um, that DC voltage is sent down to the inverter, which is in the basement here. It's inverted into AC electricity, and then whatever this building here does not use will go out into the campus, and any of the other buildings that call for that electricity will uh, use it. This panel here was uh, delivered to Worcester Academy because of its uh, output. It's got a very efficient uh, output. We were looking to maximize the roof space here and this allowed us to uh, keep it within the confines without shading at different uh, parts of this roof. Here is a string combiner. What we do here is we take the strings. Each string here is 16 modules in series. Because of uh, voltage in series, it adds. So we can only have 16 on these Kia Serras before we get into what is called the 600 volt upper limit. We don't want at any time for the array to output more than 600 volts DC because of the National Electric Code. So we have in this combiner between uh, six and eight strings, depending on which part of the array you're in here. And what happens is we join them all together here with number 10 wires and it turns into a larger wire going down to the inverter. So here we are at the inverter. This is the machine that will change the direct current from the solar array on the roof to alternating current, which is used by the gym and any other building on the campus. The inverter here is 95% efficient, between 95 and 97, and the power output from the inverter going to the AC side here is fed into the building. Just before the main breaker, we interconnect the inverter, and when the gym is calling for power, the inverter will supply the first power, and any additional power needed by the building will be supplied by the utility. If for any reason the load on the building is not very large, anything created by the solar array on the roof will backfeed throughout the campus. It will go out through one of the transformers out beside the building here. That will go out into the campus, hit the transformer feeding maybe starter hall, and then feed into there, and then that building will start using the, that power. So any uh, excess electricity not used by the campus is fed out through the net metering on the main transformer back in the utility grid and then it goes to any of the neighboring buildings in this area. Hello, my name is Matt Martunis and I'm the project manager for Nexamp, a leading clean energy solutions company out of North Andover, Mass. When I found out that I would be the project manager on this commercial solar PV system, I was ecstatic to find out that it would be at Worcester Academy in Worcester, Mass. Having been an alumnus of Worcester Academy in 1997, there were a lot of strong relationships and friendships that I developed while being on this campus, friendships that I still have to this day. Uh, it was quite funny, actually. I, I ran into Doc Stamco uh, my first day back on campus. 
And, and what strikes me is Doc retired from, from Worcester Academy in 1997. Um, here I am coming back 13 years later, and he's still coming to work every day at 91 years old. And that just speaks volumes for Worcester Academy. It talks about their tradition and their commitment and their hard work and their dedication. And those are some of the things that only you can find at Worcester Academy. I think it's great that Worcester Academy will benefit, the campus will benefit uh, both environmentally as well as financially. And the students here on campus will, they will benefit uh, from an educational opportunity that the solar panels themselves will provide. So I just want to acknowledge and thank Worcester Academy for having me back here on campus. Uh, the memories that I've that I started building here 13 years ago and the ones that I'm building upon uh, just this past year have, have been unbelievable. The friendships that, that I've made, the relationships that I've had going to school here, uh, this is just a great place. It's a great atmosphere. Uh, everyone's always in a great mood and very happy to see, to see me and I'm very happy to see them. It's just been a wonderful time and a wonderful atmosphere. And I just want to say thank you to Worcester Academy for coming.